Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Now for this first one, um, this first one, it, it it was it was a little freaky because the person started speaking a language that sounded like gibberish, but you could tell it was a language. Now it was a little bit scary because I heard many different people explain what demons were speaking to each other, but they also couldn't understand what they were saying because it was like gibberish. It was like their own demonic language. So. I don't know language that is, obviously. It might be an old language that's out there, but we just never heard. But let's take a dive into the video. I would tell you it's a little freaky. You know, it's not like the movies exactly, but this person, she, she was like, you know, yelling, you know, moving around, shaking and all that good stuff. But let's look into Let's dive into it. 16-year-old girl named... Okay, you guys see her face real quick. See her, see how it looks kind of normal. She looks sane. Um, you know, everything looks bright and handy and dandy, and you can always tell about the eyes. Gina, who according to like, like you guys seen her. I, let me go back a little bit. You saw Yos had covered the exorcism televised edition of the show 2020. Okay, ABC well, Studios well. had covered the exorcism of a 16 year old girl named now. Look at her eyes here, the eyes look, look fine, and then when we move forward, you're gonna see her eyes like it looks more like. I don't want to say focus, but you can tell something is. Let's see. Let's watch. Gina, who, according to spiritual leaders within her community, had actually been possessed by a demon. Now, look at her eyes now. You see how, like, focus or, like, intense they look? I mean, you would probably say, like, oh, yeah, of course, because she's she's moving frantic and she's acting crazy, right? But it doesn't look like her eyes did before. In, in like you, it feels like something else. It looks like she's a different person is what I'm trying to say. According to reports, yes, Gina had grown up relatively normal. However, as she entered her teenage years, like her parents person. and pretty much everyone around her began to notice that she kept acting weird. She'd be fine one moment and the next she would completely change her behavior and begin to act erratically to everyone around her. As Gina grew older, this would only become more and more worse, and soon enough, her parents had decided that it was time for them to send her to a psychiatrist. In a way, this would help, but Gina was said to have returned with a sense of normalcy. However, her fits of rage and erratic behavior still reared their head from time to time. This was the point where Gina's parents... Okay, so so I think this is... Yeah, th this is where you're going to hear... Let me see. I think this is where you're going to hear the voices and stuff come out. This is destroying what belongs to you. You can clearly see that the calm that Gina had once had changed as soon as the priest placed the crucifix on her, and things only went downhill from there. Send your Holy Spirit into our hearts and our lives, Lord. Send your Holy Spirit into our lives, Lord. The entire thing really seemed like Gina was trapped inside of her own body, being held hostage by whatever spirit was inside of her. And with the priest's help, she pretty much only had a few moments where she could come out and cry for help. However, if there's one thing that exorcism movies have shown, it's that whatever demon is possessing a person usually won't go out without a fight. And in this case, this fight was only just... Now, here's where the voice comes out. I think I think we're getting to the part. here. This is the part that I was saying. Like This is definitely... It doesn't sound like an earthly language, I would say. But but let's hear and you'll see what I'm talking about. Beginning. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Gina had literally been tied to a bench because, according to the exorcist, there was a risk that she'd begin levitating until she broke out of the house through the ceiling. And this was apparently no joke. Pass or as a watch. You understand? Watching her go from one emotion to the next was an entire roller coaster. Did you hear that? Did y'all just hear that, bro? Now, she might have been speaking English real fast, but it didn't sound like it. It didn't sound like English real fast, but at the end, it kind of sounded like English. Whatever she said was crazy, or the or it said, the demon that's inside her said 
That sounded wild. Let, we're going to play it again. Until the next was an entire roller coaster. To our Lord Jesus Christ, who put out his love for men. Give praise to the Holy Spirit, who through the blessed apostle Peter. At the end of the day, Gina was able to be calm again, and she was reportedly taken back home where she would. Do I see how different she looks after that? That is crazy. All right, let's 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 go to the next one. We're going to skip this guy because I, I think he's a fake. This one is a little bit strange. Let's see. I don't know if this might be a Jack Chinese show or whatever, but let's check it out. Whenever you go into a supermarket or a store, you probably already have an idea of what to expect. Perhaps you see a few people trying to pick out items they want to get, or maybe you see them moving toward the checkout to get their... Oh, bless up. Truly bless. We got him in here. Um, and then V, what's going on, V? Appreciate you for stopping by. Stuff and make payments for them. What about this scenario, though, in which a woman appeared to have been literally possessed as she shopped for a few items? Back in 2016, this footage came out of a CCTV camera at a supermarket in China showing a moment when a woman appeared to have been possessed by an evil spirit of some kind. The clip begins normal. The woman was moving calmly along the shopping aisle, picking items and examining them, when all of a sudden, this happened. Crazy. Look at a, look at a lady looking at her As you left. could imagine, the lady close to her immediately became concerned by what she was seeing and tried to help. But all of that only made things worse, as the seemingly possessed lady began letting out some seriously dangerous shrieks. Personally, I don't care what anyone has to say. If I'm in a store and a woman begins to behave like this, I am out of there in a flash. But the people who hey. were around the lady appeared to be much more brave than I am, and they instead rallied around her to at least try and calm her down, and it didn't necessarily help things. What is he doing? At this point, you would think that she had finally chilled what? out and was off of whatever funk she was in, but no, it was only the opening salvo. The other store visitors were able to get her stable and move her out of there, but I've got to say, if I was here, I don't think I would go shopping there again. Yeah, if I saw something like that, it would be very creepy and everything. Um haven't had that happen. Haven't had that experience. But if you had that experience, drop it in the comments because I'm I'm curious to learn because stuff like this happens and and not everybody shares their experience or or shares what they saw because you know many people are gonna say no, nah, it didn't happen or they're not gonna believe you or people's gonna call you crazy. People always call. People are, are always quick to say someone's crazy when they explain something that's not normal. It sounds crazy, but these things actually happen. Weird baby possession. Here's the interesting thing about demon possession. It really doesn't matter who you are or what age you are. Anyone can become possessed by a demon. Apparently, even babies are not safe from these dastardly creatures. Out of 2016, this next video takes place in the home of Chuck and Kate Booth in the United States. Chuck and Kate had just welcomed a little bundle of joy named Connor, and just like every other parent in the country, they doted after the little boy day and night. As you would expect, they had installed nanny cams in and around the room so that they could watch him remotely. But one night, they got an absolute scare when they heard some noises coming from his room. The next day, Chuck and Kate checked out the nanny cam footage, only to find little Connor doing some not-so-baby-like things. Now, the entire thing kind of seemed like Connor was just being a restless child, but things took a turn for the darker when he literally climbed on the edge of his crib. What It was heck? just for a moment, but I think you can agree with me that for those few seconds, this baby boy was not normal. What was with that weird shriek that he gave and the color of his eyes? No, What's first of all... I Ain't no regular baby balancing on a on a thing like that. I guess we, we well not I guess I think we can all agree like ba like small kids like that they don't have good balance. They're not you're not balancing good on on a 
edge of a crib. Are you serious? Like, no. Something happened to this kid. The deal with that. Oh, I got the video on mute. My bad. Sold, literally balanced on the edge of his crib without holding anything and maintained that position for well over half a minute. Surely that could not have been just because the boy had perfect balance out of the womb, now could it? Thankfully, baby Connor was unharmed, and when the clip came out, it immediately caused a firestorm online, with many people claiming that it was fake. But Chuck and Kate were adamant that there was no doctoring going on. I'm no expert at parenting, but if this clip really is true, these guys may want to take little Connor to a priest. No, Sleeping victim. Apart from the fact that literally anyone can get possessed regardless of their age group, demonic possession appears to not be a respecter of what you're doing as well. We already saw a woman get possessed while shopping at a supermarket, but now let's see a situation where a boy appeared to have gotten possessed by a demonic spirit while sleeping. This next footage would be taken in early 2020, showing two siblings sleeping at home, and it appears that there was a security camera in the now, these ones, I would say, these ones look definitely fake because I've seen, like, little shorts like that, and it looked like it was it was edited. Now, I haven't seen this one before, so I don't know, but, like, what is... Because you got to ask yourself, why is there a camera recording them? It's not like, a you know, not like one of those cameras like you saw with the baby where it was, like, you know, a room camera. This is, like... Who records themselves like that? Like nobody really would do that. So I don't know. Just a lot of questions that I already have just just being introduced to this video. Look, it made me feel like it's some fakeness going on or some staging happening in the room or something. And that was how we managed to get this footage. Anyways, everything seemed fine at first. The siblings were sleeping peacefully when all of a sudden, the boy got up and was just kind of static. That motion is enough to give anyone the chills, but it does get worse. After the boy went back to sleep for a few moments, he then gets up again, only this time, he literally begins banging his head on the wall that's close to him. At that point, the noise from the head banging woke his sister up, and you can just imagine the look of horror on her face when she saw her own brother doing harm to himself while not even being aware of it. This was really a weird thing to witness, and if I were in the sister's shoes, I would be out of the room quickly, shouting all the way for someone to help me out. Still, though, she stayed with her brother, even after he began pointing to somewhere that we know absolutely nothing about. Yeah, you can imagine just how horrified the guy's sister must have been. That's weird, but I think it's like, I think it's kind of BS. I think it's kind of BS. Let me scroll through. Oh, oh this one right here. This one right here, <clears throat> I thought was was interesting too. His body. Possession at the store. You know, I've got to say that before putting this video together, I never really had any qualms with going to a convenience store and searching out stuff that I wanted to buy. But I think it's safe to say that I'll definitely want to keep an eye out going forward because I have no idea what the heck is happening with people these days. This next clip was taken in 2011, showing the moment when a man in a convenience store, I'm not sure what country it is, suddenly becomes possessed by what I can only assume is a restless demon. The clip pretty much begins yeah, normal. Crazy. We have CCTV footage that shows people going on about their day, and the guy was apparently trying to get something from the refrigerator at the store. But almost as soon as he touched the fridge's handle, the spirit just got a complete hold of him. Or is he having like a seizure or something? As soon as the guy was engulfed, it was pretty much on. He began fidgeting and shaking around the place, and it was like he had absolute zero control over his own body. Yeah, that is... That, that is. He did seem to be trying okay. to fight off the spirit that possessed him, but as okay. we all know, this hardly ever ends well. Yep. And if you don't have other people trying to help you or maybe a priest trying to set you free you're pretty much on your own when it comes to demonic possessions. And for this guy, there was absolutely no help in sight. <laughs> to take things even more Dang. diabolical, this guy eventually fainted, and the spirit inside of him decided to show off. 
Now, I get the fact that the spirit was able to overpower the guy, but was it really necessary to knock down the other items? What if someone else came and picked them up and started to fidget as well? Some spirits really do have a mean streak, now don't they? I don't know what happened to the guy after the recording, but I sure hope that he was okay. Yeah, that right there, I mean, if you were to see see that in person, you would definitely be like, whoa, this is outrageous because don't nobody – yeah, that definitely wasn't a stroke because he wasn't foaming at the mouth. Um, he was making – it seemed like he was trying to fight something off more so um, that he was not only not in control, but from from what I saw – what I'm getting is that he was trying to gain control of himself. It's like he lost control of himself and he was trying to gain control. And I felt like he was like still there. Cause you know, like when people get the seizure and stuff like that, they just like, they're just shaking uncontrollably foaming at the mouth, things like that. But this guy looked like he was actually tr like fighting. Like this stuff is real. People really don't know about this, and they, and don't want to, you know, don't want to admit that this is real. Even if they may see it, like some people literally will see something happen, and they'll be like, "Nah, that didn't. Really, that's not really what it was." Like they'll deny what they actually just saw happen. They, they, I know there's people out there that will deny the truth about a situation. They can see it happen right in front of them, but to not scare themselves. They will say, hey, this didn't happen. The thing is, whether you want to believe it's real or not, we live in a world that has these things in it. It's a part of the it's a part of life. So you better start getting used to it now because um it is what it is, man. That's and, and if you're on the wrong side, what sides are there? There's there's the there's Jesus' side and there's the the devil's side. It's, it's two sides to the coin, man. I ain't never seen a three-sided coin. I've never seen a three-sided coin. Not to say that a coin is, is the end-all, be-all example, but it's always two sides. It's always two sides. You're either on the good or your evil side. A lot of people think the good side is bad and the bad side is good. But that's what the play is. But let's move forward. Ouija boards, obviously... We already know Ouija boards is is playing into the demonic realm immediately. Like you're you're launching yourself and you're exposing yourself. Now, I've never played with a Ouija board. Have I wanted to? Kind of when I was younger because of movies. The movies will tell you like Ouija boards is cool. You can speak to a spirit and they'll you know talk to you back and forth. But you don't want to get involved in this because this is this is gonna be a nightmare for you. You're inviting demons evil spirits around you and when you have your house being haunted don't ask questions because you invited them but let's let's see what this video has for us on this calling the demon have you ever seen a ouija board before some people claim that these boards are really ways to communicate with paranormal beings while others generally believe the concept of communicating with a demon or otherworldly creature from another dimension through the boards is obvious malarkey probably because it was made by a board game company and was never really a symbol of anything that had to do anything with any of this. Whether through movies or myth, Ouija boards have become especially mythical. And as you can imagine, a lot of people have... Hey, listen. Whether well, they're saying it's real or not, I'm not playing with it. I'm, I'm not playing with it. That's it. I'm not going to test it out. <laughs> I'm not going to test it out. I'm not going to go to the haunted house to see if anything was moving. Or to see if that of the of the dark figure was there, we don't. Th hey, we don't playing around with that. We ain't playing around with. Tried that, to that. see whether these boards are the real deal. Needless to say, the results have been mixed. Now, while some people have claimed that they've used Ouija boards and didn't notice anything, others say that they have felt a presence, and this is one case of the latter. Hold on, down. Hold on. Apparently, if few friends got a Ouija board and decided to mess with it a little bit. Why does it say goodbye at the bottom? Well, they mean goodbye. They telling you you're done for. That's crazy. Hey. Okay, so. Goodbye. Ready, guys? I'm ready. 
Everything seems to be going well, and after finding initial success with the board, the friends decided to probe even further and ask what the board's name was. And this is where things start to get a little bit weird. Z O Z O. The confirmation of the board's name apparently triggered one of the girls, and let's just say she didn't react as one would hope that she would have. Oh, shoot. <laughs> At the end of the day, I feel like the argument surrounding Ouija boards will continue to rage, but after seeing stuff like this, I'm not really sure what to feel about them. I think I'll just steer clear from now on, because the last thing I want is to mess with these things and end up spazzing on camera. The Pope's Miracle yeah, That's crazy. Okay, woo. This guy, he's possessed for real. The Laughing Victim Considering that this is a video that talks about what demonic possession, I decided to save the craziest for last. A few years ago, a worker at a hospital in Brazil shared this clip, and it pretty much broke the internet. According to the person who posted it, the guy had suffered a gunshot wound and would be rushed to the hospital for treatment. However, at the point when healthcare workers began trying to resuscitate him, he suddenly jumps up and begins laughing. <laughs> As you can imagine, the video caused a bit of a firestorm. Everyone had their theories, like the guy may have been on some kind of illegal substance, perhaps he was an actor, you name it. But the person who posted the clip has been adamant in his claims that this was completely real and that it was not doctored. You might think that just laughing was all he did, but at some point, the guy literally began talking, and even that was weird, as you can imagine. <laughs> Now, Good. possessed or not, I don't think I've ever seen someone <laughs> suffer a gunshot he, wound and end like up behaving that? like this. Yeah. From his unpredictable laugh to the intensity in his speech, there's just something off about the way the guy was behaving that I literally can only have one theory for. The guy had to have been possessed by something that we don't know about. For real. Yeah. The video doesn't show what ended up happening to the guy, but I will say this. If I was a worker at that hospital, there's no way I would continue working here by the time I saw something like this happening. The moment the clip surfaced, I would file my resignation right then and there. Whether you believe in them or not, there's a lot of evidence to show that demons really do exist. Yeah, it is a lot of evidence. And and just off of that last clip right there, you know, because we like movies and, and, and pranks happen a lot on the internet, it's very hard for people to to believe what they're seeing because there's so much fake content or fake things out that when you see the real thing, you don't even know it's real or you won't even believe it's real because you saw so much fake. It's like you assume it's fake. And that's what's so dangerous about that is that when you see something that's real, now you're going to be like, nah, that's fake because that can't really happen. Or, you know, I guess you never experienced the real, but only the fake. And it's not like money where you feel it and you, and then, but actually if you were in, in this presence, you, you could probably feel the energy change, but this is the issue though. Like a lot of people won't believe it because they, they're going to assume it's fake. It's like stage X, Y, and Z, like, or it's a skit, you know, that's expected. And me just talking about it, I already know people are going to be like, yeah, it's it's not real. He was X, Y, and Z. I don't know if it's real. I don't I don't know if it's real. You know, that's that particular video. But all I can say is that the demonic world is real, or the spiritual world is real. There's demons that exist that that terrorize people, yes, and and that do some do things. And if you want to find out. Don't go searching for it. I tell you that. Uh, just ask somebody, or just or just find somebody that has been through it, um, either online or, or or in person. Because there, I'm telling you, there's people out there that will tell you. Or go to a different country. Go to a different country and go to where they do exorcisms. I don't know. If you want to go check it out, I'm sure there's places to go to that you can relatively be. I don't even know what to say about that.